Are you all ready for the next quiz? And I'm sure you all were waiting for it since quite some time. I am Dr. Vaishnavi, your ENT faculty on the Prep Ladder platform and I have come up yet again with a quiz for all of you. I have given you tough quizzes in the previous questions, so this time I've been a little kind and considerate to give you some easy questions. So clue number one is, this is a disease which is often seen in children and the disease is usually not understood or not complained by the child per se, but the teacher usually tells to the mother that the child is being inattentive at school. The child is not listening to her. The second clue, this disease often occurs secondary to some nasal or a nasopharyngeal pathology and in children it is most often secondary to a nasopharyngeal pathology. Clue number three, this condition presents to you mainly with hearing loss. There is no pain, there is no ear discharge, there is no fever. I'm sure all of you got it by now and for those who couldn't get it we have clue number four. What is clue number four? When you do a tuning fork test, Rinne's test is negative. And the last clue, I mean with this, I'm sure everyone will get it right. On a tympanogram, you will get a B type of graph. So what was I talking to you about? A very, very simple disease called as serous otitis media, secretory otitis media, glue ear, otitis media with effusion, all of them is the same, which is nothing but your non-saporative otitis media. So often seen in children, secondary to adenoid hypertrophy, presenting to you with hearing loss and usually the teacher complains because the child is not able to hear, he's inattentive at school, the grades fall down and tympanogram is diagnosed diagnostic showing to you a B type of graph. So this is how you get your answers right by just joining the dots and getting the clues right. I will see you all again until the next Diagnose the Disease quiz. Take care and bye bye.